everybody got a little D style video for you here. We'll get into that and the reasoning behind it in a second. But remember to do that and remember to hit that subscribe. It really helps the channel and we really appreciate it. We're trying to get to that 1000. You guys keep subscribing. We thank you so much for all the who has and all that will. Thank you guys. I really, really appreciate it. Help us hit that 1000, please. We want to get there. That's what we're striving for. And we'll go into a next um, gold after that. But it's that time of the year. Scalactics, not sponsored. Book fair. The kids are back in school. So the Scalactic book fair is back as well. I really enjoy the book fairs. Um, I did help. I did volunteer and help out. So I got to stay there during the day, see the classes come in and get the kids, see all the kids getting excited over all the cool stuff there. And they did have some, this is geared towards children as well, but um, they did have a lot more adult books there, which was really cool as, to, as well. They had a little section for the adults. Um, I always, when I was a kid, loved the Scholastics book fairs and still enjoy them to this day right a little bit of nostalgia but i have reviewed other books this is extreme survival so a little bit feel like i'm entering a bear grills episode um extreme survival if you will let me just adjust this a trod bit because i need to see something on there there we go um so it's extreme survival book i enjoy number one i enjoy having actual books in my hand i know we can look at it on our phone and on the kindles and on the tablets and the whole nine and yes that's convenient easy to carry you carry a ton of books that would weigh down your backpack shoulder bag whatever or your arms by carrying into one little product that has everything at your fingertips everything's so convenient these days but um i do enjoy having a book in my hand that i can feel and touch and also, I know you can take notes on a lot of the apps, but you can write in this. It's yours. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, and so would you survive the real life situations? It's four in one. This is four in one right here. This little doohickey. So we got a little house, a little storm, a little fire. Um, I guess that's wind and a little bit of snow. Um, I have done other videos about this series, if you will. Um, I find it interesting. Like I said, I like to have, and there you go, ten ninety nine. if you wanted to. I believe they have this on the website. I didn't check. I should have checked that beforehand. But I believe if you go to the Scholactic Books uh, website, you can buy some stuff. If not, you could probably get it somewhere on Amazon or eBay or whatnot if you're interested. So, um, bear attacks, um, avalanches, snake bites, and natural disasters. Plus, this book includes a 4-in-1 tool, toy survival tool. So it's a little bit of a toy, but interesting nonetheless. So as you can see right here, you can... Uh, and this was in the kids section. It wasn't in the grown-up section. Let me just take this off camera for a second so I can pop out our survival toy tool, whatever. Yes, it's a tool, but guess what? You could probably use it yourself anyway. There we go. I'm just taking the whole cardboard off the back because it's just going to get in the way of holding the book. So that punched out and you were able to take out your little tool doohickey thing. Oh, okay. I'm just taking a little look at it before we get into it. So your four in one. What is your four in one? Let me see here. So you have um, your four and one is also oh, oh unscrew the battery compartment. Guess what? It already is unscrewed. Um. Uh huh. Okay. 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 So I got to hear one, two, three. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four. Okay. I want to make sure what we we're looking at here. So you have this little doohickey. Yes. It's a whistle. There you go. Oh, I should do it more than to the microphone. But you have your whistle. It is also a, a an okay flashlight. Um, this comes off. You got the little screw there to access 
if I can get it to focus, access your little battery pack right here. And that is the button. You can use this separately. Um, this comes off and you have your little magnifying glass if you need be. As you can see right there, boom, pretty powerful. Not too shabby on that one there. And it does have little grooves to fit in. It all looks nice and compact together. And you twist it into place. Nice line. You got a little lanyard. Does it split? Yep. It does split over here on the lanyard in case you want to. You know, if, if you want to put it around your neck and use it. This is still good. It says toy, but guess what? You could use this. You could definitely use this. It doesn't hurt to have a lot of stuff. In your arsenal when you're out there in the elements. So if you get snagged on a tree or something, this will pull off and that will mess up your neck or anything like that. Um, so there you go with your little tool. Now, when we see here, let me put it into extreme survival with a little explanation point. You got some stuff here. Contents. You got your table of contents. Um, that was a cool little raft there, huh? Um, so would you survive? So you have... Um, what is this? And they have these little indicators here. The re a read to survival. Um, think hard. Um, choices. Um, reveal. And learn. So you have those little key factors right there. So as you can see. Mountain. Um, surviving. Uh, stream survival. Shark attacks. Bear attacks. That is some stuff you might face. So they're um, wood bears. So the two types of bear. There are two types of bears you are likely to come across if you're attacked by a brown bear. Play dead. Lay flat on the f on your stomach. Collapse your hands over the back of your neck, and remain still. Don't play dead if a black bear attacks you. Try to escape or fight back. Eh, I'm gonna fight a bear. Okay. Um, if it attacks with a a brown bear or a black bear present um, fight vigorously while aiming for their face and muzzle. Um, if you're going to, if worse comes to worse and you have to resort to, you know, ending them, go for the head. Um, Extreme survival right there. Uh, let's see right here. Because if you hit a bear in the shoulder or something, he's just going to look at you like, you really made me upset and annoyed right now. Um, there we go. Assume position. This is for um, warning side, storm, shelter, ditch them, different things. Um, extreme survival. More of bad weather, if you will. Crocs and gator attacks. There's another thing you don't want to get in the middle of. And we skip the page over there. Oh, there, that's nice. Animals. <laughs> These are the different threatening animals. And you can see the pictures are cool. The reading's cool. There you got a little picture of the gators. Mountain lions. It's just cool looking creatures, but hey, pretty scary at times. Um, what else does this action pack book have for us? And hey, you want to start the kids into EDC and stuff like that and you know, campaign and survival. It's the perfect way. Um, getting stuck in snow, avalanches and the whole nine. Um, layering your clothing. Why wow, I keep skipping pages. Um, there we go right there. Hippos. How do hippos? I've never seen a hippo attack on a human. Um, I know what happens, but I've never seen like a video or anything of it. That's a video to look up for me. Um, desert, mountain ridge. I see something coming up. Dun 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 dun. dun. Um, snakes. Different types of snakes. Um, you have it there. What else do we have here? Uh, surviving, staying afloat. Don't fight. All that fun stuff there, making yourself a little raft there. And sharks, they're dun 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 dun. Ah, uh, they have a little something you wouldn't want. I do live in an area that's by the ocean and we do time to time see sharks. It's according to the type the time of year too. 
but um there has been little storms over here you got your storm survival outage of the bridge another not so fun thing telling you how to shelter during the storms i'm gonna just breeze them. i'm not gonna go through every page now because i don't want the video being extremely long so survival infernos and blazes and the whole nine different stuff you can have on hand to help you um what else do we have oh there you got a nice little checklist which can help you get a readiness or preparedness kit um and there's several videos out there too to help you so maybe we'll do that for edc one day we'll follow this and add stuff to it but there you have it a nice little survival book for the grown-up if you want to hone your skills or learn a new skill like i said books are so much more because you can write in them highlight stuff so I know you can do that on the electronic ones too, but it does help to have that ability. Um, and you get the kids interest and you got a little toy for them to play with, which probably will um, hover them or de gear them towards the book. So you got a little toy there. You got a book with a lot of good information and they can learn about survival, hiking, um, bushcraft and stuff like that. Always hone your skills. So there you have it, people. Thank you so much for watching, and like always, have a great, great day.